it's okay. I'm not holding her hostage. I promise. Ready? This is Peyton, also known as Aqua Ginger Goddess. Woo! It, no, it makes sense. I promise. It does. It does. Incredibly accurate. This is the Elder Wand. That's the Sonic Screwdriver for the Eleven Doctor. We are doing Would You Rather. Okay. We have lists. We have lists. We we spend like ten minutes looking at these questions for you guys, so you better be grateful. <laughs> that means you. You send in from the commuter street. I know you're watching. I know you see us. <laughs> this is my person. Would you rather have a bull nat bull mastiff named Fluffy or a cute, like nice angelic kitten named Killer? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it and I changed it from the original one. I think the bull mastiff named Fluffy. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be almost even more funny. Yeah. Alright. Okay. I would want, the, I, I actually probably want the bull and massive name Fluffy just be like, here Fluffy! And I'm like, oh my gosh, what kind of breeds your dog? And then in comes this giant bull and massive dog. Like, oh my exactly. god. Exactly! Oh, I should have put Tibetan Mastiff. That would have been even better. <laughs> they actually are very fluffy. Would you rather be three feet taller or three feet I want three feet taller, because if I was three feet shorter, I'd be like two feet tall. Would you rather give up your tumbler or your phone? Phone. I'm sorry, I cannot give my tumbler up. This is my life. <laughs> I've been able to go like a month without my tumbler before, though. I'm and not. My uh, phone, like, I have to have to contact you. Would you rather find true love or find ten million dollars? I'm having a hard time with this one because I'm like, I wanted to say something nice and like deep. Be like, if I found my true love, then it'd be worth like <laughs> infinite money. But I'm like, but it's ten million dollars. You're like, <laughs> yeah, you can yes. find someone else. It didn't say soulmate. It said true love. I'm like, I could easily buy probably true love, but that wouldn't really be love. I'm like, I'm in love with my money. This is my true love. Yeah, I found it. Love. Lamborghini. Love <laughs> Lamborghini. Oh, would you rather be stuck in a house with someone you hate, or in a, or in that same stuck in that same house alone? My answer to this is: Is there Wi-Fi? <laughs> <laughs> if there is, then I'd be okay with being in that house alone. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Cause if you've got Wi-Fi, you've got a connection to the outside world. So I'd probably rather be alone than with someone I hate. Because when I'm, be with, annoying. when I'm with someone who has like negative energy that rubs off on me and then we just be going at each other and that would be nice. I would just It'd make a really good MTV show though. Yeah. <laughs> would you rather live in a small palace or a giant tree house? Giant tree house, obviously. <laughs> exactly. Because then people would be like, oh my gosh, this is a palace, we have to go see it. But if you're in a giant tree house, you'd be like Crossbow, you're not supposed to be here, private property! <laughs> Would you rather be caught singing in the mirror or spying on your crush? I would probably, it'd probably be, I'm pretty good singing, so it'd be awkward if I was doing one of my internal monologues out loud in the mirror. Do you ever do this where you're just like imagining yeah. yourself as like four different people and then you That would be awkward, yeah. but if, if I was like, spying you think? Definitely <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm actually really good at singing though, so I think it'd be worse to. I think I'd rather be caught singing in the mirror than yeah, spying on Yeah, I think I would them. too. But then if you're spying in your crush and there's someone famous, you're like, I figured out where this famous person's house is. Alright. Okay. Would you rather be forgotten forever or remembered for something horrible that you did? I would want to get remembered for something horrible because then I, I would come up in like every conversation and be like, you don't want to do this, this person did it. And then I would make people laugh because it would probably be something totally stupid. <laughs> like falling downstairs and then falling up the stairs. I've actually yeah. done that before. Don't use your magical powers to make it rain cats. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. 
Yeah. No, don't make it rain alpacas, and then that start the alpaca clip. The apocalypse. <laughs> that is how the world will end. Would you rather publish your diary or have a movie made about your most embarrassing moment? Have a movie made about my most embarrassing yeah, moment because that'd be my entire life and I'd have my me entire too. life story <laughs> as a movie. Me too. That'd be like, because you keep having new most embarrassing moments. That's so basically you get a documentary made about you. Who usually narrates documentaries? Morty Freeman! Freeman. Yeah. <laughs> We're just like... Okay. Would you ra rather be able to only whisper or only shout? I would be like... I would rather be whispered because I'd be like the girl in Pitch Perfect and then just randomly one day be like, I can speak loud, guys! <laughs> Scare the pants off everyone. I would say only whisper because if you can only whisper, you can come up with like the shy one. And but then if no you only does. shout, you sound so condescending all the time. And you sound like a maniac, and people <laughs> will avoid you because they. It'd be like Thor. Everyone's just like, it's okay, Thor. <laughs> uh, don't kill me with your giant hammer, please. <laughs> all right, I want to find a good one. Would you rather have been born with an elephant's trunk or a giraffe's neck? I would want an elephant's trunk because I'd be able to do something cool with it and if I had a giraffe's neck then everyone would just see my neck and they would never see my face. And that'd just be really weird because I have a long neck already. Everything about me is just kind of long. But think of like going to like concerts. And be like, and I can see and them and you can't. Yeah, and then you can. Oh, yeah, yeah, like if you go to like a music festival or like the whole concert's in a field and then you've got the giraffe neck, well you can see. And you could probably even bend it and get closer than your actual seat. I know, actually, there's good things about most of them, though. Yeah, that's true.